Hey guys, Texas Rofan 21. I'm going to show you how to run a Jensen Mall 70 stationary steam engine. Now, for those of you who have never done live steam before, I would recommend going online to find a user friendly engine. This mall is the easiest of the Jensen's because it doesn't have reverse, it doesn't have that bolt that you have to adjust. So this is like the easiest one Jensen offers. So I'm going to sh show you how to run it. First thing we need to do, we're going to get to this in a minute. Um, you need to use distilled water. I got this from Albertsons. And do not use mineral water. And also there's a water that attacks boiler, <clears throat> excuse me, boiler joints. But we'll get to that in a minute. First we need to fill the cylinder with steam cylinder oil. This comes from ministeam.com. Sometimes they give you a bottle along with the steam engine. Well actually they give you the oil. So what we need to do, take this off. Give me a minute. What you need to do is I don't know if you can see it, but that hole is where the steam exhaust comes out. What you need to do is apply some oil. Around, around it, then you work the cylinder backwards. Doesn't usually take that much because it's a tiny cylinder. This steam engine is like a yeah. So yeah. One more drop. You can see that the air is sucking it in. Didn't even, I hope you didn't know. I, I don't know if you noticed or not, but that drop was me. It is like 70 degrees out here, and I'm starting to sweat to show you this video. The next step is to lubricate the joints. I required this little oil can off of eBay. I won it in an auction and I filled it with three in one oil, lubricating oil. So let's go ahead and lubricate the joints. Okay, now the next step is to fill it with water. Now if you noticed, I've angled the engine. That's because I need to keep an eye on the water glass. So take off the spring valve, the spring safety valve, and it comes with this funnel that you stick down here and you pour it with water. When the glass shows half, that's when it's ready to run. There we go. I'm starting to see some water. And that's a half. You only need a half a glass. Do not fill it to the top because it's going to have a hard time steaming. In this particular model, most steam engines have take fuel pellets or a fuel burner. This one, on the other hand, is electrically heated. Let me just pour this back into the jug. So 
So all we have to do now is plug it in and it'll be ready to go. Okay guys, I've, I'm now sitting on a stool and we're going to wait for the engine to heat. Close the whistle valve. The valve in the foreground is your throttle. That's what gets it going. But you gotta always have to check it. Tap the whistle valve to see how much pressure we got. When, we, when it's up to the right amount of pressure, you're ready to You're ready to roll. All right, it's been a couple of minutes. I hear the heater kicking in to heat up the engine. So we're going to wait for that to kick in. It doesn't usually take that long, but roughly five minutes to full head of steam. Okay, still needs more pressure. The first time I've done it, it does smoke when you do it the first time, but that's perfectly normal for in case of an electric engine, it'll smoke the first time. So I've already did it the first time, and this is the second time I've steamed it. I recently got this. Let's see. And we got a full head of steam, so we're ready to run at this point. Give it a... Not quite. Oh, wait. Here we go. And there she goes. You can tap the whistle. This can actually go very fast. Here's a, how fast it goes. I'm not going to operate at full speed. Also, you need to keep an eye on the water glass, and when if we're if we're low on water, that's when you need to unplug it. Do not leave the boiler on when there's no water in the boiler because it'll damage the boiler. Oops! Accidentally touched the boiler.
was just checking if the safety valve was on properly. We don't want one any leaks. There we go. first time I tried it, I blew that whistle and my mom had to cover her ears. That, that's how loud that whistle is. Alright, looks like we're low in water, so this is where we need to turn it off. And when we're done using it, this is when you have to unplug it. So go over here, go ahead and unplug the electric heater. And to release all the pressure, you open the whistle valve all the way. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. I'm going to pause a minute. I'll come back when there's low pressure. All right, it's been two minutes and already the pressure is dying down. So, w when you're done, when the boiler's cooled off, you need to empty out the water. And like pouring a tea kettle, you have to take off the safety valve and pour it. In this case, I'll dump it in the front yard. So all that's left is to wipe clean off the local, clean off the engine. Wipe it down. Any water residue, get all that off. Whoops. Got a, whoop, accidentally touched the boiler. It's hot. Okay, now all we have to do is wait for the boiler to cool down, and that's when you empty the water. Okay, so pressure's gone. Hold on a sec. Our next step is to empty the water out of the boiler. So I'm gonna come out here, I'm just gonna pour it out. It's still hot, but yeah.
right. We got the water out. Most of it. Let me check. Yep. Oops, there it is. I'm just gonna, from this moment, I'm just gonna let it air dry because the boiler's still hot. Normally, I would have to wait until it cools down, but I'm expected my family is coming back to my house. So, I hope you enjoyed this video of this Jensen Mall 70 steam engine. I'm Texas Rail Fan 21. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe my channel, or if you like any of your opinions and comments, post a comment below the video. Thanks for watching.